had you fooled there for a moment. Thought that was a Windows wallpaper behind me, right? Today's July 4th. Happy Independence Day. My name's Reagan. They call me the Doom Wizard. And it seemed like a fine day to respond to comments. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to go f as far back as I can because I do have a lot of comments to go through, but not so much that I lose you or this becomes tedious because it can be. But let's cut to the chase here. A, today's climate roundup includes Earth's energy imbalance reaching 1.8 watts per meter squared. It's going straight up. June 2023 was the warmest June on record. Are you grasping the exponential function here? Um, more record warmth in China and Russia, insane heat in China, again, flooding here, there, in Chicago, um, power outages, uh, extraordinary heat in UK. I mean, if you've just been following this the past three years, you know, you, you would see the, the increase, the function of extreme weather and um, drought. Go ahead, Doomers, raise your hand if you basically think that by 2026 or 2027, we will see widespread societal chaos, breakdown, and um, catastrophic failure in terms of immigration, food shortages, power outages, which, let's be clear, America it ranks number one in power outages in the world. The last El Nino, go ahead, raise your in, you know, in the comments, right? If you you feel like this whole net this whole net zero policy makers bullshit is a uh, is a farce, clearly, um, there's no action, and that will we will get a full dose of panic and breakdown going into the second half of this decade. Go ahead. I think there's quite a bit in the audience um, that's, that is, has their eyes opened up. I know personally I've had several men and women in their 60s and older straight up tell me, and they've been following this for a long time, that you can't, you can't expect a society, a civilization functioning the way we do now. What happens when the gas stops flowing? Uh, Collapse Chronicles was talking about some guy, I don't know if it was in Austin or somewhere, I know an incident I'm thinking of happened in Austin, but somebody came up to a, someone took his uh, theater seat and he just shot him right there in the theater. He came back, went to the restroom, came back, someone was in his seat, boom. And again, I saw a video this morning of this Asian guy getting road rage. I mean, dude just was completely out of line. He gets tapped on the bumper in his Prius. He's driving the Prius. This guy behind him kind of taps him. They were all trying to get off the lane. They pull into a parking lot, and this dude just, the Asian guy gets out of the Prius, looked like it, and just comes up, comes up and decks him. Just straight up punches him in the face. I mean, come on, dude. This is the level of, like, rage and anxiety. Are you feeling this in, um... Australia, I know France is, you know, on fire. People hate each other. Dude, that's why I'm armed. That's why I would immediately tell the guy to get down on the ground and call the police and get him, you know, while law and order is still active until I can take law and order into my own hands. Speaking of law and order, there's a show on Hulu called, like, it has Steve Buscemi and uh, the Harry Potter kid, and it's about, like, apocalypse family they're like making comedy about it it's so ridiculous what a what a sh what a nightmare living a dystopian nightmare let's go right from the top i just got a comment from red i don't know if the, i have a wind filter on hopefully that helps um he said you should be aiming for live for years not really man things are going to catastrophically break down real quick after the gas stops flowing and we stop having energy the guy that's, you know, takes your movie theater seat, or I mean, the food, the shelves are going to be barely. We can, we can't function with any less than the than the lifestyle that we have now. Okay, if people cannot sacrifice giving up their anything, Gatorade, 
anything. You take that away, you get unhappy people with firearms, okay? I'm not going to survive years. I don't even know if I want to aim for li for years. What, live in a nuclear winter? We could have a nuclear war. We could not. We could, we could, the, the taps, okay? I mean, there's so many, there's so, this could turn into an hour-long conversation. What I'm saying is that there's so many Jenga pieces, and all it takes is a three of, or four, few things happening in the whole thing. We have no cooperation, okay? I'm not going to aim for years and, like, canning foods and boiling meats. I'll just go, whatever, dude. Okay, uh, Amish people have the right way of life. What's your martial arts training in? Just side note, I attended different types of schools in high school and thereafter. I took like a mixed martial arts in high school and was like, wow, this is everything. And then I tried um, Wing Chun and I was like, this is pointless. And then I went into jujitsu and I was like, oh, this is useful. So I just kept going around and then I watched, you know, John Wick. And then I was like, oh, he can combine all those things. And they're like, what is really useful? And then just practice that for your physique, for your unique style. Like, what's my style? What's my training in? All styles and my style is my style. I'm with, I'm with Bruce on that. Okay, he's on my shirt. I did find out some news about him, though. Like, he had an affair. That's just what people did back then. He had an affair with another actress before he died. And uh, they were possibly doing blow. How we're going to get away from petrol cars, we can't. Uh, scary time to be alive. House of Cards about to fall. We're toast. Um, Tommy Tight Lips. What a username. Both pretty shit. 100 kilograms, it's like 220 pounds. Shoulder keeps dislocating. Ugh, bruh, bruh. And seem to have heart damage with something. Is that a heartache? What's, it, what's going on, mate? Get on your top, get on the tread, and hop like a kangaroo. Oh, no, stop it. Don't talk like that. Hop, hop like a kangaroo and chase the wombat, lose some weight. No, just stop doing accents. Crikey! I had to. Don't get stung by a stingray. <laughs> okay, stop it. Anytime I can get out uh, in New Zealand, there's like been flooded for this poor, poor guy, lounge lizard. Lizard? She's Stop it. Why do I have to sound like something's in my throat? Um, yeah, all of our charts are going up and down, like the charts, uh, Antarctic, sea ice, you know, all of it, Arctic, everything. Uh, nothing wrong with staying single, more time and money to prepare for what's coming. Yeah, like what does $10 get you? Like fucking nothing nowadays. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm every cent, man, is this is insane. Uh, yeah, to save... Dude, I'm not getting out of my city. Every city, Detroit, uh, New York, L.A., uh, Santa Monica, no matter where you are, D Seattle, Wisconsin, it's going to be a death trap. Okay, you can't serve. It's going to be like hordes of g like gang, gangs, okay? It's not going to be gas and food. You're out of your mind. Uh, a great quote from NSD. A culture that is infantile and broken, both socially and politically. Today's America is extremely anti-intellectual, anti-science, anti-rational, anti unreflective, impulsive, narcissistic, and juvenile. Such a dynamic breeds fascism, authoritarianism, fake populism, white supremacy, misogyny, violence, and larger culture of cruelty and debasement that does not value or elevate human dignity and human respect. For real. Go ahead, raise your hand, men, if you feel... Like, you have dignity and respect in our culture. Um, yes, this is a community, Reina, for people to come and share how they're feeling in their life related to collapse. I'm documenting this, so it's an, just don't be a dick, okay? Don't, don't be rude. Um, you know how I feel about that. I police my own channel, moderate. Um, good, you exercise one free man. Mental health, rock bottom. I was there, dude. Aren't you in your late 20s? I would say my late 20s are the mentally hardest period of my life. I don't know why. Maturing. But yeah, it's an understandable, dude. Shit sucks and you think you're never going to get out of it. And then the light isn't at the end of the tunnel and then you do. It takes longer than others. Um, yeah, it's no longer worth being greedy and hoard stuff. We live in times you can share what you own and those with those in need. <sighs> Tell me about it. 
But some people I know would say, well, it's not my fault that they're in that trouble. And they keep mother the, and the clueless mother effers keep digging them barren holes. Um, Red, Reb, Rebdom says, again, good luck finding someone. I can't shake this feeling that I can't offer a partner anything. Maybe just your existence in the universe, just being present with somebody. I mean, hell, you know, I don't mean to riff on, I'm not riffing on my ex. If there's one aspect about her that we could just enjoy the moment, and she completely understood Collapse. She started watching, oh, she, again, she was pretty intelligent, but, like, she could watch that video of how to party at the, at the end of the world. There's a wind. I try my best to get rid of it. This is the windiest fucking state, I swear. Recording here outside is... It's so much of a chore, you guys don't understand. Just to find spots that are not... Okay, stop thinking about expectations and future and what you can offer. Just just holding someone and bone, you know, and watching movies together and going bowling, like just doing basic shit, just existing. It's better with two people. Many smart people can't bear it and look away. Like I said, my ex was pretty smart and she got she started watching all the videos like when you start getting the doomosphere, all like and clicked. She'd get it. She completely got it. Um, so people said I look like Kurt Cobain. Uh, yeah, no. He has more of a thin, thinner face, I think. Kind of, obviously. But I get the comparison, the hair. Um, Sandra can't go a day without seeing stupidity. I'm going to try to keep this under 20 minutes, maybe. Some support from Sean. Keep making videos. Um, we lost jo Joey. Look, I, I know it's unfashionable to speak of the dead, but never cared for the dude. He would uh, patronize me on my content several times I've had to ban him because he would come to my channel and say like this idiot he thinks we have 20 years you know or uh, complete nonsense what's he like he would yeah he would discount what I'm, I'm saying it'd be different if we actually had a conflict and I was pursuing it but one-sided um, I'm like oh I guess he's not missed by all and that'll probably lose me some subscribers uh, Good, you get to hear me from different styles, Jimmy. You know, you got badass grandpa, crabby pants, you know, absurdist. Uh, Perpetual says I'm his top favorite channel online. Wow, what a compliment. That's about as... If all my subscribers can write that, I would just probably stop recording because I'd be like, oh, I'm complete. Like, people get me. They get it. It. Uh, there's a 33-year-old virgin here talking about, you know, collapse and finding someone, dude. I can't even imagine. It's, it's rough. It's rough right now. Um, more beached whales. Um, Nate is awesome. I love your comments. You just write this poetic paragraph about, you know, us accelerating towards collapse, and you can see it from all angles. Yeah, yes, COVID was a bad hair day. Um, it wasn't the Holocaust happening. A shitload of people died, and it was just a test for us how much we could fail when suddenly there's no uh, widespread electricity, uh, fossil fuels, and rare earth minerals are in rare uh, are in short supply because we done dig the thing the shit out so much. Um, there's none of it left. We don't have the energy to keep pumping it out more, and suddenly you know rice and grains go down and fish uh, food supply. Um, don't let the internet people get to you. I know I don't. I really, I don't let them get to me, okay? I have pretty thick skin. Uh, good Nietzsche quote, and those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Someone comparing me to male Brittany Murphy? Probably not. How about no? Toast. Aliens were fucked. Uh, Canadian government pri promise budget for preventing wildfire but they cut it by a huge amount when it mattered uh, I don't know when I'm going live sometime yeah I need to go out and practice survival skills I, I was thinking about doing some you know some camping solo camping this summer I know I could do it and in fact the real way I, I I'm, I'm into glamping I need to get one of those thermo insulated um, inflatable mattress pads you know what I'm saying it's a camping cot but it's inflatable and it's like you can double stack it and it feels like a mattress like they have it worked out now so you're not you're not sleeping on the god you know on the damn floor which let's face it it's just super uncomfortable um 
Gen Alpha is going to eat us millennials alive in 15 years. There'll be no one around in 15 years. We'll have full-blown war and mass famine shortage, like half the world's population screaming to death by the end of this decade, minimum. Um, Perpetual says his grandmother, she's not going to leave her family anything. When she passes, she makes thousands in passive income and owns a huge-ass house. Yeah, I saw a quote on that. There's like people in the world, there's two types of people in the world. Let me pull that up. It's like people who... I had to go through it, so you should too, or I had to go through it, so I'll, I'll work to make sure you don't. Precisely. That's the world divided into two groups. And the people in the second category, this is going on 17 minutes, um, I think of them as the most unempathetic, um, shitty people that should be eliminated first thing. My father was one of them. TMI. No. This world is too much of a fucking nightmare. It's too incomprehensibly unfair and rigged for the riches, uh, for the 1%, to not help out your fellow brethren or uh, is um, beyond narcissistic. It's going so inwards, It's um, you're practically a different species to me. You're a different human. You're less than, okay? Because we were born to be together in a tribe and help each other through war, poverty, conflict, life's troubles, not set, you know within our own tribes, but then that's how we have wars, and that con contributes to more wars. I know, it's a big, deep, cyclical cycle of hell. Um, this is like those penny funnel things at the mall where it spins around. You're right, man, this video can keep going. Um, more crime, yeah, I know. Um, worst air quality earlier last week, you know, wildfires move on, you know, media, uh, media cover, mainstream only covers this for like, yeah, 10 minutes, because uh, cat videos on TikTok, um, and only fans. I anticipate well-developed ca global chaos by 2030. Yeah, anyone who's been like in this for a while, and yet family members DJM says uh, family members still taking a trip to to New York in July. Like what? Uh, Bible Belt getting its taste of you know heat wave, but it was all preordained because they said so. The people, sheep herders and stuff said. Um, Doom Loops, like and share my content, sounds fun, um, mm, the climate's always changing, it was orchestrated by, you know, people who want to control you and manage your life, derp, try to fit in, watching it all real, watching it in all real time, collapses, you know, unraveling, again, 2020, Second half of this decade, planes start going down, um, shelves are empty of food, mass migration from, let's say, places like Salt Lake City where they're dropping people's insurance, home insurance. I mean, what's that, what's a sign? What's that mean? Home, because of petty theft, they're, they're, they're dropping, home insurers are dropping people's insurance because of petty theft in Salt Lake City, of all places. Amanda Gribben says a new world will be born. It's not a world, if you could call it that, anything remotely to like what's hospitable to humans, let's be clear. That's why your comment only got two upvotes, is like, what world? You call that a world? That'd be a fucking Jurassic nightmare shithole. Uh, that video should have like 500, Midnight in an Imperfect World, I poured my fucking heart and soul into that. It should have 500 or 1,000 views, but YouTube hates me and, um, you know, only get 34 upvotes. Like, are you fucking serious? And Sam just, you know, again, it's intelligence road. Look, more fucking stupid people, okay? Evident. My channel is a living proof that stupidity reigns supreme. And this nonsensical world. I'm going over 20 minutes. Stay with me, maybe. Yeah, people will keep denying it to the end and retreat into uh, magical thinking, uh, anger, um, breakdowns, you know, self-destructive behavior. Uh, capitalism is a death cult. Went to the range, going back. Um, everywhere is headed towards a police state. Finland, four-year right-wing extreme government. Um, some more insanity. People are like have nothing. There's like record number of people who don't are cannot make their bills in the United Kingdom. Families, you know, and I, I understand. Like I'm, I'm, ugh, I am so. Let me end this because that's enough comments. Everybody's really great.
Why is he not locked up yet? And there's so many places in the fucking world, like Haiti, I agree, Haiti, France, South Africa, starving people, like 110 million uh, refugees last year, a record number. You know, this is the beginning, and you hear about these places that, like, that don't have, like, running water and sewage running on their places. Like, yeah, little brown people. You know, it's not going to be just them. It's going to be us here soon by the end of this decade. It's just a crazy sh shit nightmare world, and I appreciate you, Doomers. This content, like, what does it get? Someone asked a while back, like, what does it do for you, being snarky? I'm free. I'm mentally free with knowledge and information about what's happening in the world. I would literally produce a show about called What's Happening in the World if you haven't been paying attention. And um, it's, in, it's enlightening. There's no reason you, you, know, you could feel sorry for yourself. It's just petty and weak to, given what's going on in the world. It's living a dystopian nightmare. But all of you make it a little bit less painful. Miserable of an experience. I said it all. If you like this content, hit like and subscribe, and please contribute. It means a lot. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.